Hello, my name is Frank Reed and I'm with the Tualatin Valley Water District and what I'm here to do today is to show you how we clean your drinking water so you will know how we can turn this into this. All right. So the first step to cleaning your drinking water is we need to take all the solids in here and make them clump together and that step is called coagulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a coagulant that I have in this packet here, I'm going to open it up and then I'm actually going to pour it in here just like that and then I'm going to shake it up so it's nice and mixed up. So, so what's happening is these coagulants in here are making all the solids in here stick together and it actually takes a minute but if you look really closely you can actually start to see that the water looks it'll start to look a little bit like curdled milk. All right, so it'll start to get a little bit lighter on the top. It'll still stay pretty dark on the bottom. And we'll explain why that is in just a second. So you can see it working here. All right, and then actually, you kind of see it, I'll do it from the side. So you can actually see how much lighter it is on the top than it is on the bottom. So you can kind of see the difference here, okay? And then I'm actually gonna shake it up again and it'll actually, it'll start happening a little bit quicker this time. It'll still take a minute. And I will actually hold this one up so you can kind of see the difference. This is the one that has the coagulant in it, and this is the one that's still just the regular dirty water. So you can still see. And I'll hold up the light here one more time. You can see it start to work. And then I think I'll go ahead and move on to step two. So step number two is called sedimentation. And what we do is we just take the water that's been coagulating and we just let it sit for a while. And what happens is as the solids get, they start to clump together, they start to form something called flock. And as the flock, as the chunks of flock actually get larger and larger, they get heavier and they just start to go down to the bottom. That's why the top is a lot lighter than the bottom because all the heavier sediment is actually dropping to the bottom. Eventually, it's gonna start to look, it'll start to look like that, all right? So this one has actually been sitting around for a little bit. You could see all the flock on the bottom, okay? Looks a lot better than that, right? So the third step is called filtration. And we've all heard of filters. They can be made of lots of different things. For drinking water, most filters are made of sand, they're made of carbon. Those are the two most common, but other drinking water providers can use different types of filters as well. The filter that I'm gonna use here is just for demonstration purposes. I have a little soda bottle. I have some rocks. I'm gonna just put in a little scoop of rocks here. I'm gonna do a scoop of sand, and this is actually real um, drinking water filter plant sand. I was lucky enough to get it. I'm gonna set that there for just a second. I'm gonna take this water, and I'm gonna run it through the filter. So remember, this is not an actually drinking water quality filter. This is more for demonstration, but it's actually great for getting our point across. So you can kind of see, I'll hold it up just like this. It's a little thick, so it takes a few minutes to work, but you can see this working. All right. This is step number three, and once again, this is called filtration. And that's probably good enough. I'm gonna have a bucket over here so I don't make too much of a mess. Now you can see the difference after the flocculation and then the sedimentation and then the filtration. You can see the difference between the two of these. Now this water would not be safe to drink because there are still viruses, bacteria possibly in it, things that could actually make you sick. So step number four is called disinfection, and that's when we would add something to the water to kill the viruses and the bacteria. The stuff that we add, we could use ultraviolet light. Um, a lot of places use chlorine, you can use ozone. Those are the three most common um, to actually disinfect your water. I don't have a disinfectant here, but I at least wanted to mention it so you know that we do everything we can to keep you from getting sick from your drinking water. So those are the four steps to cleaning your drinking water. There's coagulation, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection. Now, doesn't this look a lot better than this? 
and we hope you think of us the next time you take a nice sip of this.